Hey guys, Jeff at Slavens Racing. This video is to answer a question that we get multiple times every week, uh, all year long. And that is, guys are always wanting to know if they remove the screen. You know, there's a screen here on uh, F models, uh, EXCF. So if you have a, they want to know if they remove that screen or if they go to a different muffler, uh, with better flow on their 350, 450, 500 uh, EXCF or the equivalent Husqvarna models. They always want to know, can they pop that out without, you know, uh, having to install a, a different ECU with, with better mapping, you know, richer mapping, correct mapping? And the answer is a big no. All right, so I just rode this bike around this morning. This is a 23500 EXCF, and it came with the screen, so I rode it around with the screen first. You know, uh, it ran okay. It definitely down on power. I mean, they're pretty wimpy with that screen in there. Uh, but they, you know, still pull smoothly through the power band and all that kind of stuff. They do flame out pretty easily uh, in stock form. But anyhow, so then I came back, I removed that screen, and made the flaming out worse, and it made the bike pull worse. It went from being just from being uh, weak to weak and boggy. So with each shift, it would it would be boggy because it was lean. And, you know, their bike these bikes are already lean. The guys always think that this piece right here, the lambda sensor, should compensate. Well, it, it can only make minor compensations. You know, changes in elevation and temperature, that type of thing. But uh, when you make major flow changes to the exhaust system, it doesn't have enough uh, range to cover that. So bottom line is anything you do to the stock EXCF or, or the S model Husqvarna's, uh, anything you do to the exhaust system to make them flow better, you're going to have to add uh, a different ECU. We highly recommend the GET, the Vortex, or the AIM, uh, we've got all those in stock. I don't really have a, uh, there's not really an outstanding winner there other than if you want all the bells, whistles, and horsepower you can get, probably the, the, the GET is the one to go with. But all of them make them run a bunch better and fix the lean problem. So when they're lean, guys, uh, it doesn't just make them run bad, but it makes them run hot. So you're actually reducing your engine life. And if you get it on a tight trail, then it's going to run super hot. So uh, I advise that if you can't afford to do the whole enchilada, you know, uh, modify the muffler, change the muffler, plus the ECU, then don't do anything. Just leave it in the stock form until, you, until your budget allows you to, to do it correctly. All right, guys, I hope that helps you out. Hope, helps you make uh, informed decisions about your bike on how to improve it. And I hope to see you out on the trails. Please like us on Instagram, Facebook, and subscribe to us on YouTube. It helps us out a lot. And uh, get off for some throttle therapy.